Alan Jones, Private Opinion By Jorge Luis Borges Audiobook 1x1 Alan Price Jones, Private Opinion Unquestionably Though there are many Englishmen who speak very little, there are far more who do not speak at all. Hence, perhaps, the no less unquestionable excellence of the oral style of English prose writers. In this regard, the book under review is exemplary. The author's opinions, unfortunately, are less irreproachable than his syntax. In one passage he speaks of Stuart Merrill as perhaps the greatest 176 American lyric poet since Edgar Allan Poe. Such a promotion is absurd. Compared with his own colleagues in symbolism, Stuart Merrill is largely insignificant, compared with Frost, Sandberg, Eliot, Masters, Lindsay, and twenty others, not to mention Sidney Lanier, he is decidedly invisible. Elsewhere the author states, At times I have played with the idea of an essay on the subject that modern poetry owes half of its forms and context tour to the city of Montevideo. The thesis, qualified and weakened by numerous preliminary vacillations, is appealing, but frankly, we find it difficult to believe that the infancy of Jules Lafargue and the boyhood years of the insufferable Comte de la Tremont are enough to justify it. Moreover, Mr. Price Jane's claims that Montevideo has no charm. Key but with complete conviction, I would beg to disagree, in the name of the pink patios of the old city and the damp and affecting mansions of the Paso del Molino. The End Audiobook generated by, Read with the Ears.